Back, RHS, I'm Ella Finley. And I'm not Audrey Van Dyke. And we're coming to you from the Orange Eye Production Studio. Joining us today are Moakoa Cow and Rylan Stone on sports and Rory Veranda with the weather. Now for this week's news. This week we have some big news directly affecting RHS with administrative changes. First, we will also be saying goodbye to our principal, Dr. Jill Weber, who has made such an important mark on the students and staff of RHS. Next year, she will expand her responsibilities as Director of Teaching and Learning for the entire school district. We will miss her, but we know we will still see her from time to time. She will be followed by Mr. Dave Vickery, who will join the RHS community as principal for the 2023 and 2024 school year. We also say goodbye to Athletic Director Russ Bowen, who has dedicated 33 years of his time at this school and has been a valued member of administration and will be retiring. Following that news, Assistant Principal Adam Blue will be replacing Mr. Bowen as athletic director next year, bringing his years of teaching, coaching, and administrative experience to the position. We will also be saying goodbye to Assistant Principal Randall Olson, who will be taking over as Assistant Principal at Fremont Middle School. Olson has been working at this school since 2021 and has dedicated his time and energy to improve this school, its students, and its environment. Along with that, Mrs. Amok, who will be leaving RHS to take on the role of assistant principal at Joe Lane Middle School. Mrs. Amok has been teaching here at RHS since 2020 and has coached girls basketball for years prior to joining the RHS teaching staff. Those moves create some openings on the RHS admin team. Rob Colson, our current graduation coach, will be moving on to the assistant principal position left open by Mr. Olson's move. We will also be welcoming Ashley Fisk as assistant principal to fill the spot vacated by Mr. Blue. Mrs. Fisk is currently independent reading level assessment teacher on special assignment for the Roseburg School District. Everyone on the Orange Yard team would like to personally thank all the teachers and admin who dedicate their time and energy to the well-being and future of their students. This week, prom tickets go on sale. Tickets are $25 at both lunches and $30 at the door. Remember, guest passes are due to the front office no later than Wednesday, April 26th. Volleyball player and coach applications are available outside the leadership room in the cafeteria. Completed applications are due on Friday, April 28th, so pick one up today. And now, we turn to Ryland and Makoa with sports. Thanks, guys. With the boys varsity lacrosse getting a conference W, they are on a roll to hopefully making the playoffs with Coach Deaver pushing for consistency and heart. Boys lacrosse was against South Eugene on the 25th. The boys baseball team unfortunately lost against North Medford, but are looking forward to pass that and try and get a W against South Eugene in a doubleheader. The girls softball team is going into this game with a powerful mindset to get a win against Grants Pass on the 25th. The boys and girls tennis team is traveling to South Eugene on the 25th for their dual matchup at 4 p.m. Roseburg is hosting the track meet against Grants Pass on the 26th at 4 p.m. Now, with that being said, we turn to Roy Brando with the weather. Hi, I'm Roy with the weather for this week. For Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it is going to be raining with an average temperature of 56 degrees. Today through Sunday, it will be partly cloudy with an average temperature of 62 degrees. Um, fun fact, humans are the only animals that blush. And now, on to the advice segment. Hi, I'm Roy. Hi, I'm Beth. Hi, I'm Johnny. And this is the advice segment. Today we have a report from an anonymous user, and they titled it, Moving On. My ex is in three of my classes, but I still love him. But he's over me. How do I stop hurting so much? And slash or being so scared to meet his gaze. I've asked around school to see what others think. Some people say moving on is about finding someone else. Others say it's about attitude. Mr. Buster says confidence is key. Someone who deciding to stay anonymous says, tell them how you feel. They might feel the same, and if they don't, at least you put everything out there. I can't promise you're going to stop hurting entirely, but it'll subside. I hope you get what you're looking for. Have the great rest of your day. I personally think um, from experience, it's definitely gonna be hard. But eventually, you'll just have to learn um, being in places where people like that you don't like or that you really do like but they don't like you um, is going to happen like everywhere. And so ultimately, just like try and power through. And you know, if he's like, if he's a jerk, then you don't deserve him, right? 
Personally, I think um, self-love is really important and you need to understand your worth and understanding that in the real world, not everyone is going to like you and you have to be okay with that. And, um, you know, and I, I said that you want to stop hurting and being so scared to meet his gaze. Maybe looking at him is a good thing so you can get used to it. Or maybe try to figure out and understand why you're so afraid to meet his gaze. Maybe something that he did and something maybe you could like heal from. And it does suck that, you know, he's in three of your classes, but that might be a good thing and it might help you to get over him, you know, sooner. And there's also another thing, you can always be friend them, so it is easier, but I understand if you don't want to do that, and you don't have to. What would you like to add? You don't owe him anything, girl. You are amazing. Be confident and Bye. be Period. yourself. Bye. Period. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Make sure to follow our Instagram at orange.r underscore and our TikTok at rhs.orangeR. Also, check out the Orange R website. That's rhsorangeR.org. See you next week, RHS. Welcome back, RHS. I'm Ella Finley. And I'm not Audrey Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we good. We got it. We got Just it. Just say it. your name. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. We're coming to you from the Orange Art Production Studio. Joining us today are Joe. Oh my gosh. Joe. Whoa. Joe. Oh, Joe. 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 Joe Mama. Oh, <laughs> owned. <laughs> we share one brain cell. <laughs> Has been a valued. Sorry, one second. Who are you? I said that's so. Consistency? Yeah, I said, I said something else. I said, it's gonna bother me. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's okay. We got it, we got it though. We could something like try it. I don't know why. Are we ready? Yeah. Good job. Okay. It's a big, I got belly with that. Hey, yeah.